you guys know, born and raised in Nashville, public school, K through 12. Two of my three kids are in public school right now. I have another son who is in private school. Well, one of the most elite private schools in all of Nashville is an all-girls school. It's named Harpeth Hall. 155 years this school has been in existence. For 155 years, Harpeth Hall has only had girls that attend its school. 155 years, girls only. Guess what's happened? Harpeth Hall has decided to allow anyone who identifies as a girl or woman to apply to go to its school. This means, in theory, that there are now boys who are deciding to identify as girls who are going to be applying to Harpeth Hall and eligible for inclusion at that school. I just want you to think about this for everybody out there who told me when I said, hey, you know what? This transgender thing is going to be a big mess in the world of sports. Then we saw what happened. Leah Thomas. Leah Thomas is a dude, decides to identify as a girl, becomes an NCAA swimming champion, freaking University of Pennsylvania, nominates Leah Thomas as woman of the year. That all happened. 155 years, all-girl private school, costs over $30,000 a year, by the way. And what is happening right now? You have got a situation where they suddenly are saying after 155 years, hey, if you feel like you're a girl, feel free, go ahead and sit in an application. All bets are off on how long this school will remain all-girl Because now, if you're a boy and you feel like a girl, that makes you a girl. Go on in to the school. Doesn't matter what the history is. Doesn't matter about the fact that it's specifically an all-girl school. This craziness, this lunacy is coming for your city. It's coming for your school. It's coming for your daughter's and the sports teams that they play on, and the schools that they attend. And I've been telling you that this craziness was coming. I don't care. Been firm on this for a long time. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care if you want to be a boy. I don't care if you want to be a girl if you're over 18. I think it's crazy that we allow any doctor out there to give gender-changing surgery on any kid. Because God forbid... Anybody who's ever remembered being 12 or 13 years old, it's not uncommon for adolescents to make really poor life choices, which is why we don't hold them responsible for the life choices they make until they're 18. That's the entire concept of minors, right? You can walk into a store and rob it. And if you do it when you're 15 years old, we wipe that clean by the time we're 18. You're 18 because we believe that until you reach the age of majority, and 18 is probably, frankly, even a little bit too young, but 18 is the number we've chosen. Until you reach the age of 18, you're not really an adult, okay? So we don't let you make every decision that an adult would make. How in the world are 14-year-olds getting their genitals chopped off? And who are the doctors that are allowing this to happen? Giving beta blockers and allowing people to change their gender. If you're over 18, make whatever life choice you want. You're an adult. So long as it's legal, make yourself happy. But if we're going to allow 14-year-olds to just willy-nilly choose what gender they are, what kind of crazy world are we allowing when biology isn't real anymore? And what are we message are we sending to kids about science When we're telling them, hey, you just get to pick your gender. Sometimes doctors get gender wrong. This is all BS. And the vast majority of you listening to me right now know exactly what I am saying is true. And so, until enough of us start standing up and making our voices heard about how crazy decisions like these are, then they're going to happen more and more. And I don't have any daughters. I got three boys. I'm fortunate. 
that this is not happening at my son's school because I would speak out against it as loudly as I can. But a lot of people aren't speaking out because they're afraid. They're afraid of being targeted themselves. And that's wrong. So that's why I will always speak out about issues like this. I happen to be familiar with Harpeth Hall because it's a sister school of one of the schools that my sons goes to. Because I grew up here in Nashville and I'm very familiar with this school. Reese Witherspoon went there. It's crazy. It's madness. Has to stop. And the only way it stops is when reasonable, intelligent, rational, sane people speak out against absurdities like these. 